Well, here we go. So these are backlit shots. Street photographer, have a good day. Hey. <laughs> Street photographer, have a good day. Yeah, that was good. Street photographer, have a good day. We'll go for one more. Street photographer, have a good day. Thank you. We've got to get some shots. I watched a few YouTube videos on the chain and one of them was about uh, the best street photography lens. I like 35 millimeter. If you're new to street photography, I recommend a 35 millimeter. My favorite one's a little 35 millimeter size f2.8 lens. It's a really short lens. It's perfect on a Sony camera on the, like the A7 series. With the Sony ZV-1, I like to shoot it wide open, 24. I think it's equivalent to a 2470, and I shoot mostly at uh, 24. But today, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're gonna shoot at least three scenes, and we'll try and use a few different focal lengths. I like the idea of shooting 24 millimeter. So that's the default setting on the Sony ZV-1. I've just always left it there. But I have noticed, if you zoom in a little to around 40 millimeters, the lens sticks out less. Yeah, well, that's what I've noticed anyhow. There's always something happening in Melbourne. That's why I like shooting in the city for doing street photography. Neon type signs are nice. And I like that, that perspective there. I thought that looked good. We might take a, a few shots, 24 millimeter, and we'll try a few different perspectives. I'll finish this coffee first. Get our little flash out, little flash cue. I always charge the batteries up before I come in. Fully charged, rechargeable on my batteries. And I carry spares. We can make a great shot. Hey. Ready? One, two, three. That's really good. I'll come in closer, Johnny. Okay. Lift your smoke thing up. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Street photographer, have a good day. Street photographer, have a good day. Street photographer. Street photographer, have a good day. You having a good day, ladies? Yeah, oh, that's it. Lovely. Oh, wow. I want to, I want to take my photo. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Thank you. Have a good day. Street photographer. <laughs> have a good day. So this is the second scene. I like the graffiti on the wall there. And I've uh, found a, a place to set up our light. Technically, should be all right still with the... Uh, uh, flash. Street photographer, have a good day. Oh, that's way too bright. I stuffed that one up. That's way too bright. Street photographer, <laughs> come forward. Oh, wow, that's the way. <laughs> have a good day. That's a lot of fun. Open the aperture, I think. Hello there. Street photographer, have a good day. That's fantastic. You're right, sir. I'm just doing street photography. Yeah, have a good day. I think that's amazing. That was at uh, 24 millimeters and the shutter speed is 1 250th of a second at f3.2. That was the uh, settings for that last shot. But the one before that, I'll tell you quickly, was f4 at 100th of a second. But, uh, hey, street photographer, have a good day. <laughs> street photographer, have a good day. <laughs> street photographer, have a good day. <laughs> Street photographer, have a good day. Yeah, so we've got some really good shots there. Thanks to those people, they're really nice. Thank you guys, have a great day. Yeah, that was fun. So that's scene two. And again, that was at uh, 24 millimeters. And the flash, I forgot the flash. And the flash power was set to half power. So we'll try a different focal length now in a new scene. So that's where we were. We're shooting in that little gap there. So that was fun. Yeah, so where shall we go next? How you going, boys? Street photographers? Yeah. I spotted you from uh, over there that you both got uh, cameras out. Yeah. And what do you got there, Gary? I've got a new toy. Um, it's a Ricoh GRX or GR3X. GR3X. Yeah. That's cool. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, yeah. Oh, you ugly thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, another one too. The third yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. How you going? All right. So, yeah. uh, 
What do you like shooting? Obviously street photography. Yep, at the moment I'm looking for people carrying company toys. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's your theme, is it? No, it just, it just happened to be. Um, actually, I'll give myself a plug. I've got an exhibition on at the moment at Photo Barn in Burwood. So, Gary, sorry, can I get you to move up this way? See, like you go, oh. it was half your face now, you need to go, go there. Maybe you can edit <laughs> half your face out. Now. Half a face, there. <laughs> you'll watch that. There. Yeah. Okay, um, exhibition of street photography at Photo Barn at Burwood, which is a great place to go. If you're a film photographer, you can get your um, films developed and scanned there. Are you on Instagram, Gary? Yes, Gary P underscore. Uh, Gary Parkinson underscore BW. Cool. All right, guys, if you, if you get a chance, get over and uh, get offended by it. Yeah, check, check out Gary's work. And what about you? you got, what do you got there? What are you asking me for? You're a Fuji guy, are you? Yeah, this is a XT5 and uh, a 35 mil, which is. Which is uh, actually no, it's a 28, which is 35 mil equivalent in, in full frame. Street photographers tend to like primes, like lightweight. They don't want to carry too much, too much weight in the bag, you know, because they're walking around yeah. all day. Like they'll do 20 to 15 to 20 thousand steps a day, and they just want lightweight. I only really use the primes, which are nice and light, and I do street photography with, uh, and I see this guy on the street yeah. sometimes. Scary. <laughs> Bit of entertainment I'm this way, and down to you. I'm yeah, just sure. trying to get in the, in, the, in the camera there, you know, like really, don't, I can see myself, yeah? yeah. And then I just do street photography like Gary. Right. But um, you know, I try and get whatever I can, you know. But my, my favorite is like a one subject, uh, mid, uh, mid, like a mid distance uh, environmental portrait type stuff. That's what I like doing. That's now. cool. And uh, are you on Instagram too? Yeah, yeah, it's Andrew. Uh, Kachechi, I'll spell it, K-E-C-E-C-I -E -E dot, uh, yeah, Andrew dot, at Andrew dot Kachechi, that's my, that's my Instagram, but I also got a website, which is www dot K -E -C -E -C -I dot com. Excellent. <laughs> if you want to do, this you want guy, to introduce me? Yeah. This guy, he loves to, he loves shooting, um, uh, portraits of, of uh, women. Ah, oh, does he? <laughs> Right there. How you going, boys? No English, no English. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you got there, Canon? Have you? Yeah, that's an R7. Cool. And, and the 135 f2L. Oh, the 135. That's a f2, isn't it? Yeah. Fixed lens. That's a nice lens, isn't it? Yeah. And what's your name? Brian. Brian. Are you on Instagram? Yes. Do you want to shout out? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go for it. Go. So, if you want to follow me on Instagram. It's C O O L O O X, and it's mostly street photography, bit of model shoots. Yeah, cool. Right. Thanks, Brian. Okay, so basically, I'm using the 70 to 200. I've got an R7. Um, ignore the background noise. Yeah, so um, enjoy some street photo shoot, doing a bit of model shoot, and yeah, and um, that's been about my gear and what I do. Yeah. Cool. And are you on Instagram? Yeah, I just started a new um, page just in because I got a lot of nonsense on my personal page. And the, the page is called Movatopia, M O V A T O P I A. So that's uh, me on. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Street photographer. Street photographer, have a good day. Street photographer. Street photographer, have a good day. That's a beautiful picture. We've got a really good picture there. I'm really happy with that one. You have to be always mindful of being respectful. Hey, street photographer. Street photographer. Street photographer, have a good day. Yeah, so that's another beautiful shot. And these were all shot at 36 millimeters, approximately. Street photographer, have a good day. We'll get one more at 36 millimeters, and then we might try 50 or 70 in another scene. I like to start by going back a little bit, and that way I finish right in the spot where I want to be. And I mean, I could just, just do that. Street photographer, have a good day. It's very touchy, the zoom controller on the ZV-1, but I'm grateful that it's got that range. I used to have a Zeiss 55 1.8, very sharp lens but uh, it was very clinical. And I purchased at the same time I purchased the 35 millimeter size 2.8 lens. This is years and years and years ago when they were first released, many, many years ago. And uh, I don't think the 35 millimeter F2.8 uh, 
is as sharp as the uh, 55, 1.8, but I love the look of the, the 35 more than I do of the uh, 55 millimeter 1.8. Thought about what focal length we shoot next. 50 millimeter or 70 millimeter. I'm out of my comfort zone. Anything over 35, really. I mean, both focal lengths are good. 50 or 70. <laughs> I think we'll try the 50. Well, this could be an interesting scene. Setting the power to half power. Chuck you up here. Now, we've got to adjust our focal length, set it to 50. And this is a bit out of my comfort zone. I'm at 59, 50, 50, 48, 50, there we go, 50. Yes, we've got a good shot. We'll try one more. It fired. Looking at that, when they've got umbrellas, because the light's coming from that side, the umbrella might block it out. Where this one might be okay. Street photographer. Beautiful work. Try again. Street photographer. There you go. Have a great day, street photographer. So I like the tram stop. And because of the light around the tram stop, I think that looks pretty good, the way it is. <laughs> Street photographer, have a good day. I think that looks good with the, the ambience. It's really nice in the scene. But the problem is, is to uh, get good composition. Street photographer, have a good day. We need an, a uh, subject in the right spot. From my uh, shooting ability, because of the fact that takes longer to recharge. Street photographer. Yeah, so that's why I'll include the missed shot. That's not really the flash's fault. That's my fault because I didn't allow enough time for the flash to recycle. Yeah, so we're still at that uh, 50, 50 millimeters. So that's at 50 millimeters. Hey, street photographer. Street photographer. <laughs> Street photographer, have a good day. All right, I'm going to try and lower the flash power just that little bit because that will allow us to capture some more shots. Street photographer. And as good as those shots might look to you, they're just uh, snaps really. But looking at that, I think it might be a little hot. So I, I might lower the flash a little bit more. This is very cinematic in my mind. I like cinematic shots. We we'll try again. One more. Go like that. Get good composition. Take our time. Street photographer. That's really nice for rim lighting. We've got some beautiful rim lighting. Street photographer. Have a good day. Street photographer. Street photographer. I don't blame the flash at all. It's uh, the fact that I'm not allowing enough time in between shots, as I mentioned. Yeah, so that's at 50. So what do you think? Do you like that? Actually, it's not a bad focal length, and I took my time with the composition this time. Since we're having so much fun, we might have another go at 70 millimeters on a different corner. Would you like that? We'll give it another go at 70 millimeters. I'm feeling in the mood. <laughs> All right, let's go. Vegetarian sausage roll. I hope I've got no food in my teeth. <laughs> Apologise if I have in advance. <laughs> yeah, so we've got to find another another spot now for our uh, our uh, seventy millimeter. This looks nice with the ambient light because all the lights are on. But so you see an opportunity there, looking at that guy walking across the road, you'd want it to flash probably where the guy in the suit is, probably about now. Get our composition right for the scene. 
Street photographer, have a good day. Ah, oh, beautiful. You want to see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. I get one more stand here. Beautiful. Now, I didn't zoom into 70. Ready? One. We'll go all the way to 70. Try that. Two. Three. Beautiful. Yeah, that is, uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, I put it on my Instagram. Okay. Have a great day, love. You. See you. All right, so now we've got our spot. I think those pictures were a little hot to tell you the truth. But when, you, when you're in the street, you've got to work quickly. And uh, you don't have time to walk around. Street photographer, have a good day. Street photographer, have a good day. So this is at, uh, that's at 24, sorry. Now I've just zoomed it back out to 70 and we'll have another go. So this is at 70, I have to go back further because I can't see any of the signage. Street photographer, have a good day. But of course, if I was to zoom out a little, like to at least uh, 30, I could get good composition. Actually, let's bring it to my favorite spot. Well, it's usually 24 on the ZV-1. That allows me to get a better composition. Street photographer, have a good day. And you get a really good shot. You shoot film, do you? Yeah, yeah. What camera do you use? Oh, it's a film camera Con from Contax. Contax. Yeah. yeah. It's a good camera. That's yeah. supposed to be very popular at the moment. Yeah, used, used to be very popular. Yeah. And what film are you using? Oh, I use, I use uh, Koda. Uh, color plus 200 yeah color plus 200 yeah <laughs> that's good and uh, what do you like to shoot mm. Mm. I'm not sure uh, sometimes popular uh, so, sometimes I, I take a photo for, uh, for other, other people or sometimes just for the uh, for, for the uh, something else <laughs> sorry <laughs> that's okay <laughs> How many rolls of film do you go through over the weekend? Uh, uh, depends on the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D depends, to the, depends on the weather. Yeah. yeah. If, if Sunday, I, uh, I think I can finish uh, two or three rolls in a week. But if it's a rainy day, I, I don't always go, go out. Yeah. And what about the lens? Do you have a favorite focal length? Yeah. The lens is it a fixed lens? Is it? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's 40, 40, 45. Oh, 45. Uh, very popular one. Yeah, that's very good. And you like that focal length? Yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. Are you on Instagram? Yeah, hey, I have Instagram. Would you like a shout out for your Instagram? Yeah, okay. But I, I haven't uh, posted uh, ma ma many, 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 many photos on it. That is. Oh, cool. Oh, if you get a chance to get over and check out this guy's work uh, with his contacts camera. Yeah. He's like, having fun in the CBD here. Uh, Kodak Color Plus in his film camera. Okay, well, zoom into 70. So we're at 70 now. But uh, I'm not sure. The street photographer, have a good day. I'm on the wrong side of the light, really. Let's try that. Street photographer, have a good day. Street photographer. Street photographer, have a good day. <laughs> hey guys, I bumped into another street photographer. I'll let him introduce himself. Yeah, my name is Manoj. And I'm, I'm Hari. And what camera do you shoot? Yeah, with? I'm using Fujifilm X100V. And this is my Instagram, Mancho here. So what would I choose? I would choose the 35 millimeter in a prime on an APS-C camera or on a full frame camera. And if I'm shooting, say, a micro four thirds or a, a little camera, well, something that's equivalent to a 35 millimeter, it'd probably be my favorite. However, saying that, I think you can get really great shots with anything from 24 millimeters to 50 millimeters uh, in the prime. So that's what I'd go for. And if I was gonna go for a zoom lens, I'd go for something like a 24 to 70, would be my first preference followed by say something like a 
70 to 200 or 18 to 200 or something like that but uh, very rarely would I shoot anything in the street uh, over 50 millimeters nowadays maybe possibly with the 80 millimeter because I do have an 80 millimeter 1.8 at home and I do use that on the uh, Sony uh, a7 IV but uh, other than that I I like the smaller and lighter uh, compact lenses and my favorite is the Zeiss 35 millimeter f2.8 for two reasons as uh, camera conspiracies would say it's got that pop 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 in addition to that it's very lightweight hi my name is John uh, my photography is black and white street photography and I post on my Instagram at photography by Carter and I noticed you like doing a lot of black and white photographs is that right yeah John? yeah it really uh, draws out what's in the scene and rather than getting distracted by colors so uh, John What's your favourite lens for street photography? Um, I like something with a bit of zoom so I don't get um, into the moment. So I like to capture moments from afar. Um, so I like something between uh, 200 or 300. Um, I've gone from like a 28 to, to, to up to a 300. Um, the lens I've got right now is a 28 to 200. Um, so it's a good all round lens from close ups and, and from afar as well. Cool. All right, guys, if you get a chance, I'll, uh, I'll leave John's uh, Instagram handle in the YouTube video here. You should be able to see it on one side of us, probably this side. And uh, if you get a chance, check out uh, John's work on Instagram. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.